Hello YouTube, welcome back to the channel. So this month, December, what's been happening and what we're doing for the rest of the month. So, little tiny backtrack. So October, I was into my running and I did 50 miles in October. Then November, I switched it. Instead of doing running, um, my knee was hurting a little bit and I wanted to add in some weights and some body weight exercises. So I was doing circuit training a mixture of like a legs and abs session with body weight, barbell session, like a body pump session and kettlebell sessions. So I've been doing that, they've been going really well. And then coming into December, I've let my training get a bit too late in the day. Um, sometimes it was, I think, half past 12 at night when I started my session the other day. So, because I have all my exercises written down on my whiteboard, if it, if it becomes too late in the day to change it, I've just done the same exercises and the same routine uh, a few days in a row. It's no big deal, but um, it just means that maybe I could have burned more calories and tried harder, but the muscles are sore from doing the same exercises back to back for a couple of days in a row. So today's plan is I've done, well, I did a barbell session last night. The three sessions before that was a kettlebell session. So I haven't done a lot of cardio in November. Um, even though my heart rate does go up some sessions, 185 beats a minute. Average heart rate is something like 140, 150, 160. Um, but I wouldn't call it a cardio aerobic endurance session. It is a weight session, but fast pace with light exercise, light weights. Um, so it does get my heart working, but what I want to be careful is I don't want to do too much weight and put on weight um, without the fitness to be able to carry my body and do functional exercises. So today I'm going to try and get in the gym and do a session with just body weights. So it could be body weight squats, body weight lunges. Um, the... You know, I did them yesterday with a barbell, but it was a 20 kilogram barbell. And on a kettlebell session, I used a 10 kilogram barbell. So a body weight would be a little bit faster and more explosive, uh, speed, speed, speed. Um, depending on the time it takes for each set, if it's a 20 second set or a 30 second set, depends on how many reps I might squeeze in. Um, I'll also do some other exercises, a few exercises on the floor for my core. So in the last couple of days, I've only done a few exercises for core. I don't think there's any last night specifically for core on the, the barbell session. But the kettlebell session, I did do a few um, Russian twists, a few side bends, um, a couple of crunches, but not too many. So I'm going to try and do a little bit more on the middle. But even though I didn't actually do core exercises, my uh, obliques and my core have been hurting a little bit for the last few days so I must have done something to um, make them work a little bit but basically I'm sort of getting to this level now where I can do a good 45 minute to an hour's worth of exercise um, and each session I'm doing estimated more calories burnt so my heart rate is higher but also my average heart rate is higher and I don't need the rest periods I take them just so the intensity stays high, but I don't need to take them. Um, so I'm starting to get to the point where now I can specific, well, aim more specifically at what type of body and physique and fitness I want. And I can tailor them, train them for them, um, them goals. So what I'm going to do again is I've lost a bit of paper I had written down goals, targets, what I want to reach. And uh, what it was, I picked, I selected a few different army regiments around the world. So, for example, Navy SEALs. And if you Google them, you could probably find um, the basic standard fitness test that they do. And then you can also search for other special forces around the world. Um, so how many press-ups they have to do, how many sit-ups they have to do, how many chin-ups or mile and a half, two mile, five mile. Uh, runs they have to do um, obviously they probably have to do it faster than what the minimum says 
but it's just a goal. And I'm not 20 anymore, I'm 37. So if I can almost do something like a 20 year old might have to do, then uh, that's a goal to go for. So I'm gonna get a list again. Um, I'll find say five elite regiments and um, I'll find the top score. So if one regiment has to do five chin-ups and one has to do 10, I'll go with the 10. So it'll be um, a random regiments fitness test. Um, and then I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to write them down, stick them on the board, look at them each day and tick off one at a time, which ones I'm going to do. So can I do press-ups, sit-ups, uh, chin-ups? Um, I've done the running ones, but I'll go into other things as well. Um, I did do one the other day, which was how many press-ups can I do in two minutes? And I remember years ago, at one time, I did do 100 in two minutes. And I even had a couple disallowed. Um, so maybe 105 in two minutes. So what you do is you do 60 seconds, one a second. So you can easily get to 60 by the minute. And then you have a, maybe a 10 seconds rest. And then you try and do 10, a couple of seconds rest, 10, 10, 10, 10. And then you can squeeze in 100 in two minutes. Uh, Sit-ups, I used to be to do one a second for two minutes, no rest. Uh, a couple not allowed, so 105 maybe I've done before. Uh, but that's with somebody, you have to tell them to hold your legs still and real strong. So if I could find a place to ram my feet under, I might be to aim for that again. Chin-ups, I can't remember what the score was, but I remember when I was 15, I did, I think it is 16 to pass to get into the army. Uh, but I've, I've been able to do maybe 20. And I think the I think most fitness tests say like eight. So I, I could do that. Um, but I saw the other day, I did see, I can't remember where I saw it though. I think it might have been a Facebook pop-up. It's The title was something like 10 things every person who goes to a gym should be able to do. Um, some of them sound really simple. Um, some of them are not sure what they mean. And a couple I can do already. So off the top of my head, I can think of one was bench press your body weight. So I'm 82 kilograms. I can bench press 82 kilograms. Yeah. Um, squat, I think might have been, was it, I think it might have been one and a half times your body weight. So 80 plus 40, I could do 120 kilogram. Uh, I think it might have been deadlift twice your body weight. So can I deadlift 160? Um... I'm, I definitely used to be able to. I've done 300 kilograms before, but can I do that now? Um, I'm not sure. Um, yeah, not sure with that one. Um, one of them was sit down and then stand up without using your hands. Um, if it's just sitting down onto a seat, I know what that means. It's just like a squat down, sit down and stand up again. I've read that before, that everybody should be able to get out of an armchair without using aids or hands. But if it's to get down to the floor, so I know I can sit down to the floor, you just fall over, but how can I get back up again without using my hands, my shins or my knees? I don't know how to do that. I have to have a look at the video. Um, one of, another one was just hold on to a bar, hang for 30 seconds. So I did that one the other day, I can hang for 30 seconds. And then it says, after 30 seconds, do a chin-up. I did that. And then it says, if possible, do it again. Hang for 30 seconds, chin-up. Hang for 30 seconds, chin-up. How many of them can you do? Um, probably not many of them. Because um, it all depends on the body weight and strength. So I've lost strength. And I've lost body weight. But I think I've lost too much strength for the body weight. Uh, especially my hands, my grip. I haven't got enough strength. I can feel myself letting go. Um, I can't remember what else it was. But um, I, know, I remember years ago, one thing I used to... I used to know when I was in a good shape in fitness in the gym was knees to the chest. So stand up, jump up in the air, lift your knees up to your chest, put your feet back down. If I said to do 10, 20 or 30 or 30 seconds or a minute's worth of them, 
Um, if I could do the full amount of reps without stopping, so bang, 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 um, and you're as fit. But if I had to stop after every single rep, put your feet down, jump and do one, jump and do one, that's when I knew that I wasn't in good shape. So um, that's the sort of exercises that I want to do and tick off. So it makes it into um, different exercises. It makes it to functional from a day. Uh, I notice as I'm getting older, it's harder to do normal things. I'm not too bad. I'm, I'm getting on all right, but I see other people who are my age or older, they struggle. Uh, and I'm thinking, how can you not do that? But then there's other exercises that I can't do. Um, so instead of just doing a bench press in the gym, which is it's useless really, people always ask, people always ask how much can you bench press? Um, I think the maximum one rep max was 240 or 250 estimated. I think I did do a 230 uh, on a Smith machine, uh, but I never pushed 100% because I didn't have a spotter, so maybe 240, but that's useless. Yeah, you get big pecs, and on the video people can see it, but it's useless. But press-ups, if I could do 100 press-ups, that is a bit more useful in the real world. Um, if you play sports or do activities, you have to get up, get down, that's a bit more. You don't need to bench press 250 kilograms. Uh, the damage and the pain it causes on your wrists and your elbows, it's not worth, it's not worth it. But if I could do 100 press-ups, you know that if you could do 100 press-ups in two minutes, you're at that fitness level where your arms are good, your chest is good, your heart's good, your core's good, your breathing's good, everything's good. Um, if you can do 100 sit-ups in two minutes, you know you're good. You've got no lower back pain, you've got no, um, your core's good. Your legs are strong, your legs are good. I used to feel it a lot in my, in my uh, quads, more than the abs really. But you know all the muscles in that area are working, your heart's good, your lungs are good. Uh, and if you could do a fitness test and your heart's not pumping out, the, out your chest and your lungs aren't burning, then you know you're in good shape. Um, everybody hates lunges, but at the moment I can do bodyweight lunges easy. 20 kilogram barbell on their back, they're easy. I can do lunges all day. At one point I couldn't do lunges, when I broke my ankle, it's just too wobbly. I just couldn't do it. Um, so it's just, if you know you can do 100 of a bodyweight exercise, 100 burpees, squats, chin-ups, uh, press-ups, planks, and things, all these different exercises, it's more useful in day-to-day -day life. Um, getting in and out of a car, getting up and down in a seat, up and down stairs, walking, uh, putting a rucksack on and doing a bit of everyday life, carrying shopping bags, it's more useful. You don't need to be able to bench press 250 kilograms, deadlift 300 kilograms. Um, I know if you can deadlift 300 kilograms, well then when you go to pick up a 20 kilogram shopping bag, um, it makes it that one lift easier. But I bet you, anybody can deadlift 300 kilograms, their heart and lungs aren't in good shape. They're probably going to be um, 100 plus kilograms body weight themselves. So you watch them carrying that shopping bag all day in the supermarket and I bet you they'll be sweating, huffing and puffing and tired after it. Yeah, the, the bag might feel light for a minute, but their endurance will be gone after a few minutes. So it's a useless skill to have. Um, and I can't remember who his name was, but um, I saw uh, a new person to follow last night and he was doing uh, videos of him doing bodyweight exercises. They were awesome. There was um, a flag pole, you know, when you hold the a pole like that and you can lift your body up horizontal. He was doing that. Hanging from a, a chin-up bar, like with his body at legs at 90 degrees, like that, and doing in and outs and I'm not even sure what you call them. But his body strength, he's only like a, I'm guessing, 65 kilogram lean, um, probably about five at all, probably. Guessing from um, where he's from and uh, what he looks like. But uh, the strength in his body to be able to stay horizontal, I guess. And he's doing these twists in the body and 
like legging and like all oh, holding his own body weight up from the bar. It's just incredible. Um, is that useful in real life? Well, if you want to walk down a street, see a scaffold and pole, and do some exercises and find your friends, that's pretty good. When they can like they do this, but um, being able to bench press two hundred fifty kilograms, deadlift two, three, four hundred kilograms, it's more pain than. It's more pain and hassle than what it's worth. Uh, your clothes don't fit, you feel hot, you feel tired. You've got to eat shitloads of food, which takes time and effort to cook it, but also money to buy it. Um, and at the end of the day, no one really gives a shit if you're 16 stone or 17 stone. But for yourself, if your heart's good, your lungs are good, uh, and you could do loads of exercises, loads of times, it's a lot better. So... Um, that's what I'm going to do for the rest of December. And I think as well, last year my goal was to get to £168 by, well, before Christmas. Because you know you're going to go off the rails at Christmas. And I didn't reach that far. And I'm like 180 now. So I'm not going to be able to drop nowhere near that. If if I'm lucky, even 175, but I doubt it because I'm doing body weight exercises. So I'm actually making muscle. I'm probably burning fat, but growing heavier. But actually, my goal now is, instead of going down to 168, which I can't do, but then cheating and after Christmas going up to 190, my goal is just to not go up to the 190. So if I can just stay at the 180 mark over Christmas, I don't know if I'm, am I going the right way? That way? Or should I be going reverse that way? If I can just stay, because I'm looking at the phone, if I can stay at the 180 mark, instead of going up to the 190, so next year's goal, instead of having to go from 190 to 160, or 190 to 170, I've only got to go to 180 to 170. But what I'll do is I'll probably make my goal 180 to 175. So instead of doing crazy gain goals, trying to lose all that weight, I'd be happier just to lose that weight. At least then over the two year period, my body weight looks like it stayed the same. Uh, like as I, I haven't got a lot of body, well, you can kind of see there. I haven't really got body fat to lose, but I just want weight because I don't want to be 16, 17 stone in a molder. So, I think a lot of people, as they get older, their weight, their weight goes up. But I don't want to be up here. I want to be down here. So if I can keep that as low as possible, then I won't have to go on a diet when I'm older. That's my goal. As I said, my fitness uh, motivation and education and whatever I'm doing for you guys, it's not about being a bodybuilder anymore or uh, professional sports player or army, police, fire, stuff like that. I'm trying to aim my videos now at males, probably working with kids in between the ages of 30 to mid 40s. Um, so hopefully guys, this video is just about general health, general fitness, moving, eating a bit, drinking a bit, staying fit, staying healthy. Um, so we're not going to aim for a big weight loss over Christmas. It's not going to happen after the 25th. So we're just going to aim to keep that weight somewhere. Don't spike up because then we'll have a hard January. So keep that body weight flowing for the next 20 days. And then we'll hit January uh, in a good one. Okay, that's coming up to my 20-minute uh, mark. And um, I don't want to go over 20 minutes. I probably talk too much as it is. But that's my video for today. Um, maybe a couple more for Christmas. Otherwise, I'll do some in January. Um, stay tuned. Thanks for watching and uh, have fun.